Hello, and welcome to another video on how to soundproof your home studio. Today we're gonna to be talking all about what is the best soundproof floor option when you're designing your home studio. Before we jump in, I wanna let you know that I do have a free resource. If you're going down this journey of how to figure out how to build your own home studio, then check out my free soundproofing workshop. This is gonna be 40 minutes of in-depth teaching, explaining how to design and think through the entire build of your home recording studio so that it will be soundproof and acoustically treated in the end. All right, if you're interested in checking that out, you can go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's talk about what is the best floor design. The best option for your home recording studio is going to be a concrete slab. The reason is that a concrete slab has enough mass to stop sound across the entire frequency spectrum. It also sits in the earth so that sound is less likely to travel through the ground, through the concrete, and up into your studio. So for these two reasons, having a concrete slab is by far the best option for your home recording studio. So where should you build your soundproof studio floor? Well, the best option is gonna be where you have an existing concrete slab. Most likely this will be in your basement or in your garage. If your garage is detached from the house, that's even better. If you're like me and you didn't have either a garage or a place in your home with a concrete slab, you can build a home recording studio from the ground up in your backyard and just pour the concrete slab and then build your home recording studio on top of it. If you wanna build multiple rooms in your home recording studio and do it right and have it professionally built, technically you will need something called isolated concrete slabs. This is a method where you pour separate slabs adjacent to each other using a break in between the slabs so that sound cannot transfer from one room to the next. For example, if you wanted to have a control room and a live room, the best option would be to pour two concrete slabs next to each other and create the isolated slab. In this diagram here, you can see that a isolated slab is going to need an expansion joint and a caulk and seal application on top of that. I do not recommend going down the road of trying to pour your own isolated concrete slabs, and I would leave this to a professional. So if you do want to do isolated concrete slabs, factor in that cost because it's definitely going to cost a lot more money than if you just poured one single slab. So this leads to the next question. What if you simply don't have the option of building on a concrete slab? You've probably heard of floating floors and there's tons and tons of information on the internet about floating floors, but to be honest, it's not your best option. And to do a floating floor properly at a professional level, commercial grade studio level, you would take so much money and so much expertise that it simply is not recommended for home recording studios. So for that reason, my first answer would be don't soundproof your studio if you can't build on a concrete slab. You'll probably get less than ideal results floating a floor on your own and using a budget option than you would using a concrete slab. So maybe we just say this is not the best option at this time for you. The other thing you could do is try to find a different location where you could use a concrete slab. That way you don't have to rely on the existing wood deck that you're trying to build on. If you absolutely do want to float a floor, I highly recommend using a floating concrete slab with special techniques that are way beyond most home and DIY methods. So for this reason, if you're gonna float a studio at that level, it's probably worth hiring a professional designer and having a budget of at least a couple hundred thousand dollars. So in conclusion, the best option for any home studio floor is always going to be a concrete slab. For us DIY musicians trying to build home recording studios in our houses, then we are best off using a, an existing concrete slab already in the basement or garage or building one in your backyard. If you're gonna do multiple rooms, to get the best possible isolation, you wanna build isolated concrete slabs. Remember, it's advised to hire a professional to build your isolated concrete slabs. Lastly, I don't recommend floating floors. Even though I have videos talking about how you can create budget floating floors, it still is not the best option for your home studio, and I never recommend it to the people I work with on my consulting. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. A quick, simple, back to the basics lesson on the best soundproofing floor design option. 
Again, if you're going down this journey and you're in the beginning phases, check out my free soundproof workshop. It's going to help you think through all the different things that will be needed for your soundproof studio design. To check that out, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. I look forward to seeing you in the workshop. Thank you.